Last week in real estate was this whole NAR lawsuit. Everybody's wondering, are realtors relevant anymore? Do they deserve what they get paid? And do we really need a realtor to buy and sell a house? Three instances, literally from my last week in real estate. One, I was outside a town home in Downing Town and there was a very frustrated um, a buyer, a prospective buyer who was looking to uh, get inside. So he had called the listing agent multiple times the previous day, no answers, he was trying to reach her again today, no response. There were no open houses on this property and this is about 2.30 p.m. on a Sunday afternoon. I was leaving with my client and he, you know, I look like a realtor, I guess. And uh, he asked me, I can't get into this house, I've been calling the listing agent. Uh, I said, well, sir, it's 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm sorry for this one. The offer deadlines are actually 4 p.m. And you might have missed the boat on this one. So, um, too late. I'm sorry. Here's a second incident, again, from last week, where a client of mine whose property I had sold about three years ago moved to Connecticut, bought a home over there, and now they're actually moving back. Uh, you know, they have work from home jobs and they love the Chester County area and want to move back. I was like, wow, fantastic. Welcome back. They sold their under contract for their home in, in Connecticut and they're getting ready to move back. And then we had to discuss, um, OK, what price range? Where are we buying? What kind of home? Single family? What locations? Did you see that one? Did you see this one? Did you consider this new construction? What about the numbers? If this is your price range, this is what the monthly payments look like at the current interest rate. This is what you'll have to bring to settlement. And this is a very seasoned client. I mean, they've clearly bought and sold homes before. And at the end of this one and a half hour Zoom call, they tell me, Bela, this was fantastic. This was so informative. Thank you so much. Right. And here's a third incident. I have a, a client refers a friend from New Jersey who's looking to buy. They recently put an offer on a home in New Jersey, a single family home in New Jersey. And uh, they decided to go with the listing agent. So they called the listing agent uh, who did answer. But the listing agent told them, I do not do dual agency. I'm already representing the seller, so I can't represent you. You may want to find your own realtor and I'm happy to refer one. So they went back and found another realtor to put an offer. They felt they were pretty savvy. They knew that the homes are selling about 20% above market in this area and they put in an offer 20% above market. Well, guess what? They didn't win the multiple bid. Turns out that the winning offer was $100,000 above their offer. So in this day and age of are the realtors really relevant? Tell me if they are. This was my week in real estate. So a, a family member recently called about uh, an appraisal done on his property for a HELOC, for a home equity line of credit. And it was way off and nowhere close to the market value. Uh, so I was very puzzled. Well, typically when an appraiser comes out during the purchase of a property, he has a the agreement of sale with him. So he knows what your purchase price is and he's usually trying to justify that based on the recent sales in the area, the comps. But when it, the appraisal is done for say an estate when the siblings have to figure out what the value of the home is for you know uh, dispersion or in a divorce situation where one spouse is trying to buy out the other spouse or in this home equity line of credit kind of situation, the appraiser doesn't have a number to begin with. And in very volatile markets like we have currently, that number that he values the property at is likely to be way off a fair market value. Uh, so be mindful of that when you have an appraiser come out. Um, you need an official opinion of value. They're licensed and you know they've always been seen as this fair impartial entity that every all parties to the transaction will actually you know respect and believe but an appraisal is still one person's opinion of value at that point in time. So if you're in Chester County, Pennsylvania and the appraiser happens to be from New Jersey because that's who the bank uses, they have no idea about the intensity of competition in Chester County and their appraisal is gonna be way off the fair market value. Folks, please don't go online and assume that the interest rate that you see on the online portals is the rate that you will get if you wanna buy a house. The interest rates, this is a conversation I had with a um, friend recently. Bela, when are the interest rates coming down? I said, they're already down. Oh, I checked. They were in the mid sevens when I last checked online. Well, my client of mine got 6.3%. Oh, does that mean you can always get your clients one point less than what we see online? No, that's not how it works. 
It depends on what loan product that they're buying, depends on their debt to income, depends on their credit score. There's a whole bunch of things, you know, value of the home that they're buying. Is it a jumbo loan? Is it a conventional loan? So there's a whole bunch of things that get involved in interest rates. Um, I said, but why are you so obsessed with interest rates? It's okay, buy something you can afford and then you can always refinance because we are expecting them to drop. Well, yeah, but my friend said it's going to be 10 to 15,000 when it's time to refinance. Folks, no, it is not going to be ten to 15000 to refinance uh, your loan. Uh, in fact, if you call a lender, they should be able to roll the closing costs into the rate and you refinance only if you're getting a better rate without paying a single penny. Does that sound like a fair deal? Um, so don't listen to, don't believe anybody out there. Talk to the right professionals, folks. Get the right advice. Get the right information so you can make some good decisions for your families. Check out some of my client stories. Some of them may resonate with you.